Focus But Where is a game that is looking to reveal the intersection, really, between climate activism and social media. So we're really looking at the way in which activists attempt to break through apathy and ignorance in a multiple different ways. So what we did narratively is to split the game into five chapters and each chapter is going to delve into one aspect of the digital landscape and also like the intersection between climate change activism and our digital landscape. For instance, in chapter one, we're going to let people find climate related news in a flood of entertainment news and tabloid news, uh, sort of to demonstrate how serious issues like climate change often got overshadowed and activists are sometimes are forced to state protests that are controversial, that are sensational to attract the attention to put climate change under the spotlight all the time. They're going to be sort of looking at the screen and they see almost like an open eyeball uh, and by moving their head around and blinking they can interact with this game. Essentially they're going to go through kind of like a story with a few different chapters and like any story the narrative will sort of get more and more dramatic as it goes on and hopefully by the end of it they'll sort of be able to look back on either the climate crisis or on the media discourse we have at the moment and sort of see it in a bit of a new light. We are using the TensorFlow face landmark detection framework, which is recently released by Google. And then they are going to map our face with dots. And then we will be able to detect if we are blinking. So when we are moving our heads, the game itself, the camera is going to move along with the X and Y axis. From what we learned through this grounding technology process is that quite a lot of young people that are well versed in like digital media are quite interested in this like gameplay method of exploring climate change so hopefully that's one group of people that we will attract throughout all of this throughout this need for optics throughout the need for understanding this environment the reason is that we are facing something truly catastrophic and the people who are hit first in the UK are going to be ordinary people. That's the reason why we must understand this. What we hope is that people can have like more empathy when it comes to radical protest and to develop empathy and understanding for complex situations like that for both the activists and the people that are working in the media and not to jump into conclusion and not to spend all of our attention fighting each other online and debating who's right or wrong.